This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1875. What is butyric acid and does it have health benefits? By Amy Avizade with Healthline.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, reading you some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. And don't forget, we have a bunch of shows where we narrate articles for you. Just search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this to find all of them. And with that, Let's get right to today's article as we optimize your life. What is butyric acid and does it have health benefits? By Amy Avizade with Healthline.com. Butyric acid is a fatty acid that's created when the good bacteria in your gut break down dietary fiber. It's also found in animal fats and vegetable oils. However, the amount of butyric acid found in foods like butter and ghee is small compared to the amount that's made in your gut. To date, only limited research has been done, especially on humans, to fully understand the benefits of butyric acid. But early evidence looks promising. Researchers are continuing to look at the potential that butyric acid has for improving gut health. Keep listening to learn more about the possible benefits of butyric acid and what researchers have unearthed about it so far. What exactly is butyric acid? Butyric acid is what's known as a short-chain fatty acid. It's one of the three most common short-chain fatty acids in your gut, along with acetic acid and propionic acid. These three fatty acids make up between 90 and 95% of the short-chain fatty acids in your gut. Short-chain fatty acids are saturated fatty acids that are created when friendly bacteria break down dietary fiber. The primary health benefits of butyric acid and other short-chain fatty acids are their ability to provide your colon cells with energy. Butyric acid provides your colon cells with about 70% of their total energy needs. Butyric acid goes by several other names, including butyrate and butonic acid. What are the benefits of butyric acid? You've likely heard that eating fiber is good for your digestion. Part of the reason why eating more fiber may improve your gut health is because it leads to your colon producing more butyric acid. Although clinical evidence is limited, Early research suggests butyric acid could have several benefits. Irritable bowel syndrome and Crohn's disease. Some research suggests taking butyric acid supplements could potentially be used as a treatment for irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, and Crohn's disease. In one double-blind, randomized placebo study, 66 adults with irritable bowel syndrome received a daily dose of either 300 milligrams of sodium butyrate or a placebo. After four weeks, participants in the butyric acid group reported significantly less abdominal pain. In another study, researchers gave 13 patients with Crohn's disease four grams of butyric acid a day for eight weeks. At the end of the eight-week treatment, nine of the 13 participants had improved symptoms. Colon cancer. Most of the research looking at butyric acid's ability to prevent or treat colon cancer has been done on animals or isolated cells. In one study, researchers found that sodium butyrate blocked the growth of colorectal cancer cells. The same study also found it increased the rate of cancer cell death. Researchers suggest a higher intake of dietary fiber, which could increase the amount of butyric acid the gut produces, may help reduce the risk of colon cancer. However, more human studies are needed to explore this. Insulin sensitivity. People with type 2 diabetes often have low amounts of butyric acid-producing bacteria in their gut. Animal studies have shown that increasing dietary fiber intake may improve insulin sensitivity and lower the risk of obesity. However, at this point in time, there's limited evidence to suggest increasing butyric acid in humans has the same effect on insulin sensitivity. What foods is butyric acid found in? Most of the butyric acid in your body comes from the bacteria in your gut. The amount of butyric acid in food is small compared to the amount your gut bacteria produce. Dietary butyric acid is found in the following foods. Ghee, cow's milk, butter, sheep's, goats, and breast milk, Parmesan cheese, vegetable oils, and sauerkraut. Butter is a good source of butyric acid. About 11% of the saturated fat in butter comes from short-chain fatty acids. Butyric acid makes up about half of these short-chain fatty acids. You can also take butyric acid as a supplement. Sodium butyrate is one of the most common forms of the supplement. However, keep in mind that at this time, 
the benefits of butyric acid supplements aren't well understood. Discuss the pros and cons with your doctor. Increasing your dietary fiber intake is another way to boost the amount of butyric acid in your gut. The bacteria in your gut primarily feed on resistant starches your body can't break down. You can find these resistant starches in fruit, whole grains, legumes, and vegetables like artichokes, garlic, onions, asparagus, potatoes, bananas, apples, apricots, carrots, and oat bran. You can also find resistant starches in carbohydrates that are cooked then cooled like oats, beans, rice, and potatoes. How much butyric acid do you need? At this time, there aren't any guidelines around how much butyric acid you need. Increasing your fiber intake may be the best strategy for boosting the amount of butyric acid in your gut. Even the richest food sources contain relatively little of this fatty acid compared to the amount your gut bacteria create. Are there any side effects of butyric acid? As of now, there's limited clinical evidence about the safety of butyric acid. In the study mentioned earlier that found that butyric acid supplementation may improve irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, the researchers reported no side effects at a dose of 300 milligrams per day. However, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you may want to avoid butyric acid supplementation. One animal study found that giving pregnant and breastfeeding rats sodium butyrate led to insulin resistance and increased fat storage in their offspring. The bottom line. At this point in time, only limited research has been done on humans to fully understand the benefits of butyric acid. However, the research that has been published so far suggests butyric acid may be beneficial for your digestive health. Based on what we currently know, the best way to increase this fatty acid in your system is to boost your intake of dietary fibers. Fresh fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, seeds, and whole grains are all excellent sources of fiber. Other foods like ghee, butter, and milk also contain some butyric acid. However, the levels are low compared to what's produced when the friendly bacteria in your gut break down and ferment dietary fiber. You just listened to the post titled, What is Butyric Acid? And Does It Have Health Benefits? by Amy Evazade with Healthline.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. People often ask me, Dr. Neil, what's the best way to reset my gut microbiome? When I get this question, I'm assuming that they mean they want to know how to make the bacteria in their gut more diverse and more plentiful. Both of those are important for optimal gut health. My response to them is almost always, increase your dietary fiber intake by consuming more whole foods. So as you heard in today's article, Many studies have found that dietary fiber found in whole foods seem to be the most helpful when it comes to creating a diverse and plentiful gut microbiome. This is because one of the byproducts of the digestion of these fiber-rich foods is butyric acid. Butyric acid may help optimize the gut microbiome. Now, there are two main types of fiber. There's the one that's called soluble fiber and another called insoluble fiber. So which one is most important? Both are important. That's why getting a variety of whole foods in our diets is important. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and beans are great sources of both fiber types. And when it comes to, well, how much fiber should I be getting each day? For those that were born genetically male, around 35 grams per day is the recommendation. Both soluble and insoluble combine, not each. For those that were born genetically female, about 25 grams of dietary fiber each day, total, from both soluble and insoluble added together. If you think you're not even close to those recommendations, start to increase slowly. Do not feel as though you have to get to that goal by tomorrow. You will feel miserable. And as you increase your fiber intake, it is important to also increase your water intake. No need to go overboard, but start to just gently increase your water intake as your fiber intake also goes up. All right, that'll do it from me for today. I'll be back here tomorrow as usual for our Friday Q&A, so stay tuned for that where your optimal life awaits.